Thursday, June 22nd, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So this morning I'm going to be looking at the technical outlook, uh, the way I see uh, cryptocurrencies. Of course, there's over 700 of them. You know, I can't look at all of them. And uh, I'm going to focus on Bitcoin. I mean, that's the biggie. Ethereum and Steam. Uh, why Steam? Well, because um, it's a cryptocurrency that I'm interested in. Uh, I've been earning some Steam, uh, the, you know, for the last year. I think I started posting stuff on Steam in August 2016. And Steam it is growing right now. Uh, I've got over 500 followers now. I know it isn't uh, as much as 7,000 on YouTube. But I think it's uh, an interesting platform uh, going forward. And uh, of course, you know, wherever Bitcoin and Ethereum go, I think that's where, you know, the other cryptocurrencies will go. Some will be relatively weaker or stronger. Um, but uh, and and before I start looking into these uh, the technical and um, you know picture and some charts, I want to talk about trading, you know, uh, because a lot of the people who are going to view this uh, video, uh, they might trade cryptocurrencies or they might not. They might just hold it as a long term investment. Um, I want to say that trade because I worked in the city as a broker. I, I've done my own trading, uh, and I can say it takes. It's a it's it's a business. What I'm trying to say is you can't you know have your normal job, uh, nine to five or whatever, and then go on and trade. You need it needs to be a twenty four seven thing, especially with cryptocurrencies. They trade the whole time. And it needs to be your own business. Uh, you got to really focus just on that when you trade. And why do I say that? Well, uh, from this book, you know, about Jesse Livermore, world's greatest greatest stock trader, by Richard Smitten. I highly recommend this book. Um, and Jesse Livermore, you know, that was his business. That was his life trading. He didn't do anything else. And uh, the other thing that I advise that he said is that he was his own, he was like a lone wolf, that he did what he thought he wanted to do. He didn't want anyone's opinion. Of course, here I'm giving my opinion on the charts. But yeah, I mean, you don't have to follow his, uh, how can I say, his strategy to, you know, you can be flexible. And a lot of you probably, you know, haven't looked at technical analysis or done it. So uh, hopefully this will get you interested in it. The other book as well that I think is good for people who actually want to trade is The New Market Wizards uh, by Jack uh, Schwager. That's a really good book. Uh, and it's about, you know, a lot of the top traders and how they, you know, go about uh, trading. I think, let's see here. Uh, yeah, uh, talks about uh, Victor Spirandio, uh, Stanley Druckenmiller, Richard Dryhouse. Yeah, some big names and, you know, their strategies for trading. Um, personally, uh, I think uh, cryptocurrencies are very hard to trade. So you need to really focus just on that. You know, or else you can lose a lot of money. Uh, you know, they're so, they move around so much. I mean, a few weeks ago, you know, when we first hit 2,800, uh, you know, uh, the Saturday after that, uh, it dropped to like below 1,900, rebounded back up to 3,000. So you got to be really nimble uh, with the cryptocurrencies. Uh, so I'm going to look more here at the... Uh, longer term um you know uh, chart uh so i'm gonna look at bitcoin here first and this is a chart here from bitcoin wisdom uh, dot com and uh they've put uh on the chart uh, i didn't build this chart they put like uh moving averages 
I couldn't find which uh, period they are, but actually that's not really relevant because you can see that um, from, let's see, July 2015, the, the blue lines started moving above the orange line and that's when, you know, Bitcoin started making its move higher from, you know, below 400. And we've stayed, that, that line, that blue or lighter line is uh, stayed above that yellow line. Um, and one thing I would say about uh, the move in uh, Bitcoin right now is look how far away we are from that yellow line. So how are we going to get closer to, the, to that yellow line? Well, there's two ways to go about that, I think, you know. Uh, either Bitcoin drops back uh, to like 1400 where that line is or Bitcoin consolidates for months uh, for the next few months uh, you know probably between 2000 3000 maybe a little lower and we see a lot of uh, back and forth action in Bitcoin because uh, we need yeah that, that's a bit overbought there uh, relative to those moving averages uh, and as you can see, beef, you know, prior uh, to the move we've had, you know, since March, a Bitcoin uh, price after spikes always went back towards that uh, uh, brown or, or, you know, lighter, uh, yet yeah, orange line. Uh, it's interesting, though, looking at the chart here, how the uh, spikes from the previous, uh, these last two years are getting even more and more like uh, kind of irrelevant <laughs> compared to the move we've had since March. Longer term, yeah, I still think uh, Bitcoin has legs. Uh, I think there's uh, a lot of people, I guess, missing out on Bitcoin. You know, uh, you listen to the... Uh, People uh, in the alternative uh, financial media, a lot of them uh, say Bitcoin is a Ponzi scheme or is it, it's a scam. I don't agree with them. I think there's room for uh, Bitcoin in the monetary system and cryptocurrencies in general. Um, but it's going to be like the Wild West right now, so you got to be careful. Uh, so let's look now at Ethereum. Hold on. There we go. Uh, Ethereum chart. I think yeah, there was like a flash crash yesterday. That's that yellow line there. <laughs> that red line that dropped yesterday. Uh, so this is from CryptoCompare.com. Ethereum in dollars. Uh, yeah, Ethereum has made a, a huge move up i couldn't get that chart the same chart of bitcoin that i got in, in that i got that i was talking to you for ethereum but um i think it, it's on same kind of uh, story here you know uh, ethereum might even correct uh back down to 100 and it would still be you know a longer term uh pretty uh positive in my opinion you know just a few last summer we were trading in the teens so i mean right now we're 313 what i wanted to say about markets as well markets are you know and charts and prices are just a reflection of human uh, emotion uh, towards uh, these uh, you know currencies and uh, human emotion is you know uh, volatile and cyclical so you can't expect uh, you know, these uh, cryptocurrencies or anything to keep going up forever. You might, and then you might say, well, the, the stock market is going up, you know, the Dow is 21,000. Yes, but uh, that will also end. But yeah, so Ethereum, uh, you know, needs to also consolidate a bit more. I think, you know, we're going to stay in a wide, wide range between 200 maybe a little lower in 400 looks like 400 now is the the key uh, resistance uh, so that's uh, ethereum so now uh, i want to look at uh, steam and uh, i'm going to look at a couple of charts of uh, steam uh, one is more longer term and the other one shorter term so here's the long term chart of steam it's not a great chart i couldn't find uh, other other charts for steam maybe if you guys know 
where I can find uh, better charts, let me know in the comment box uh, below. Uh, so, um, yeah, this is going back uh, to uh, last year. And you can see Steam has traded above $3.5. We had a pretty big drop uh, last summer. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I wasn't following it that closely, even though I was doing videos. Um, but now we are uh, moving higher, you see. I guess uh, the target will be that. Uh, just above three and a half there in the longer term so um, it and it looks like we're forming like a teacup in the uh, steam chart we're looking uh, in the longer term shorter term uh, steam uh, look at this chart here uh, yeah what it looks to me is that um, steam is like a uh, trend is still higher I think you know you can look at that chart you have lower lows sorry higher lows higher highs and then you, you get periods of consolidation and right now that's what it looks like we're consolidating between two dollars and two and a half i think it might be a bit more on the downside this chart doesn't really give you the whole move on on the days uh, i think we've been below two but uh, basically yeah i think right now we're just consolidating i think uh and it's the same thing for Bitcoin. Uh, I'm not so much for Ethereum. Ethereum has outperformed a bit. Uh, so what I think we're, we're getting here is just, uh, you know, a bit of a rest because uh, before a next move higher in uh, cryptocurrencies. So, uh, yeah, this is the technical analysis for cryptocurrencies. Um, I will probably... Yeah, I'll probably do some other ones like Dash and Litecoin later on. I know other pe people look at other, uh, you know, cryptocurrencies. But I would say that um, the technical outlook for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Steam is probably similar to the technical outlook for the other ones. So you can kind of uh, apply what I said uh, about these currencies to other ones. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it far and wide, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, watch uh, me on steemit.com, uh, S-T-E-E-M-I-T.com, follow me on Steemit as well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.